Hi all and welcome back to Empire Toys 1138. Hey guys, uh, I'm with Vic and we are at Stafford. Yes. I got it right this time? Yes. I kept calling it Stratford. <laughs> so at the Stafford Toy Fair, which is run by BP Toys toy fairs so if you know them you know they run the NEC and they run uh, Sandown and all the other Coventry and all the other little toy toy fairs around the country uh, never been here before so not sure what is going to be here um, but I've heard it's decent from a few sellers that are here so it'd be good to have a look around uh, so I've got my toy hunting partner anything you're looking for I'm always looking for Tomb Raider figures and more like gaming figures. Gaming. Yeah. And Tailspin. All the Tailspin figures. Don't forget <laughs> the Tailspin figures. <laughs> so we are going to go and walk in and uh, we'll see what we can find. Not too sure how this video is going to plan out. I'm not too sure what we're going to go for the uh, camera and the backpack and just walk around or we're going to get all the bits and bobs out and film everything. But, you know, we'll make that up as we do. There, right there and on the spot. Yeah. The professionalism. Anyway guys, I'll catch you later. I can't imagine you with any Barbies. I had a few. I had a couple. Me and um, Andy's uh, side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
it's cool. Mm. What you got on the uh, bigger figures up on top? Which, which figure? The either the Battle of the Planets one, the white one, oh, right, yeah. or the red one. Just, just how much? Yeah, the red one's Hurricane Follower. Yeah. Obviously, there's no car boot ones, but we yeah, got we got it here with us now. So, yeah, yeah, thanks a lot, man. You, yeah, you too, you too. How much is on the jaws? Man? Twenty quid on that, mate. Have a look at it. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Open to offers on it, mate. Say you open to offers on it. Meaning, like all the Lego that we've got in the loft, 
me to take over.
Good you? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Yeah, it's a, it's a rare box version. One had gone previously about 400, so massive and so, you know. It's fine, it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no worries, bud. Appreciate it. No problem. How you doing? Good, you? Yeah? yeah, not bad, man, not bad. A bit of a change for you, innit? I don't know, right? spirit animal. like him. Very similar. It's yeah. Same shit. Look 
That's some lower subject ones down there. Lower subject? Uh, the red ranger. Oh, right, yeah. There's some halo stuff down there as well.
Yeah. So. You're right. Out of light. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, it was a nice, it was a nice little fair, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, very yeah. nice. Um, my personal opinion, I thought it was better than going to Coventry. Um, sort of felt like a smaller sand down. There's some good sellers there, um, and a good mix as well, wasn't there? It yeah, wasn't just yeah. full of trains, and it wasn't just. And it was two halls. Yeah, it was. So it's but normally in just a, the Coventry one is in a one smaller hall. Yeah, but this was in two, which was kind of took us by surprise because when you walk in there you kind of like oh I thought there will be more here and I thought more sellers are here and then all of a sudden there's a second room which had more yeah. action you figured yeah. toy stuff didn't it yeah right so uh, let's uh, go through what we found okay so let's Vic's going to just pick things out and we'll talk about them so that's the first thing so we got this in a deal so this is a nice one of the uh, old school Fantastic Four figures the Invisible Woman um yeah, it's not a bad price for a um, Toy Biz figure. Eight quid. We've got it in a deal because we've got a few other things. Uh, the purple. Try to find it. Yeah. The it's all in the bag. See, so we've got a nice big bag of goodies right there. Um, we, right. Went, we went in with the idea of not spending much money. and <laughs> That's, that's why we didn't really take uh, any bags, too. Yeah, because exactly. It's like, you okay, know we're it. not going to spend much. So. i also got this cool sort of um, G.I. Joe uh, Cobra Trooper. I love the purple on it. Yeah. That's what one of the things. So we got them. So that was a pretty cool first way to. Uh, from yeah, from uh, Tim. Tim, did he Tim. say it was? So if you're watching Tim, you said you did. So thank you very much for watching and uh, cheers for the bits. Uh, I just put it at the back. Yeah, yeah, put it at the back. So I keep looking down at my. Uh, I've, got the, I've got the camera <laughs> screen so down I actually, here. I actually got this for Aaron. It's a little present for me. Just a little present. So um. As you can see, it's a Power Rangers. Oh, oh that, that little mug. I'm no, sure. You see, I got everything. It's not used. He said it hasn't been used, and it looks like it hasn't been. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if these are meant to be an actual thermal mask or are they from the uh, lunch boxes. I don't think so. I don't but, think um, it's a thermal one. It's. It's still got a still. great artwork on it, though. Ninety-five. Decent. Yeah, he had a few different ones. Yeah, yeah, Thunderbirds, uh, yeah, Captain yeah. Scarlet, uh, Bat oh, Batman Doggles. and Superman. Oh, dogs. Um, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Batman and Superman ones. Yeah, he had a few, and some the old school mugs as well, actual yeah, mugs. Yeah, 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 so that was decent. Nice little find. Okay. It's getting hot in here. I know. <laughs> so get what you get out so yeah. this is from John at Jamorian Toys if I ever say that name correctly I keep forgetting so we got some uh, Funko Pops which I know you guys love <laughs> I've been looking for this one for ages so cheers man for doing that uh, the Lord Dracon figure so if you don't know who Lord Dracon is Boom Comics you've got the Power Ranger license did a bad guy Green Ranger and this was him mixed with the green and white Ranger suit so it's pretty cool and we got the pumpkin wrapper. Yep, the pumpkin wrapper. So it's from a Halloween special from Power Rangers. Um, as you can see, it is a GameStop exclusive, so we didn't get it here. Um, so really happy to get that. I do like the bad guys. We need to get more bad guys made, definitely. Yeah. And that will go with my uh, uh, Lord Zed and I have all of them. I have Lord Zed, Rita, and Goldar. So that will go with Goldar. Yeah. Go with have that. You got the Goldar. Yeah, I think have so. Got the Goldar. I think so. It's bad when you can't remember which ones you've got. <laughs> okay. So again, from John as well, um, I picked up the Shogun Zords. So we've got the black Shogun Zord there. The yellow Shogun Zord. Blue and pink. Happy. The only one that's missing is the red. Um, but I've got a load at home and I've got... No, I've got a spare red one. So I just need to get the helmet and the weapons to complete that up so happy with that so that's what we got from him i think oh no, just a couple of things a few more loose figures yeah so 
I this was in a box three for a fiver, like two pound each, three for a fiver. So we got Max Steel VR Trooper there. I kind of liked it because I thought it looked very like bootleg. It's got that kind of feel to it, but it's definitely official. It's got a uh, Saban 1995 on the back. It's got a cool little sword. Decent. Oh, I believe it's Ultraman, or from that sort of line. 94. It's got 94 on it. Uh, I can't read. Was a Playmates toy? Yeah. But anyway, I just thought it looked really cool. Bumped up the deal. It's got that kind of uh, vibe going, <laughs> which I thought was quite cool. And this, if you don't know who she is, again, every 90s boyhood crush <laughs> from Gladiators is Jet. And she's going to be at Reading. Yeah, she's Comic going to be at Reading Comic Con, so we thought that was quite funny. So looking forward to meeting her. You have to sign the pens then. You have to go to her and just sign the pens. And that would look proper <laughs> creepy. <laughs> but yeah, so that's why I picked that one up. <laughs> Three for a fiver. I don't know why this. I picked this up. I think it's a battle, is it battle trolls they were called or something. It was only a pound, so can't really go wrong. But it's got, the, it's got a lot of weapons. All the weapons and everything. So. so it just looked pretty cool. Like a weird kind of. Might even be knockoff. It was uh, a good price for it. So. 1990. Looks like it says 92 Tyco on there. That's a cool little find. Can't really go wrong for a pound. I got it. Oh, you got it. You got it. I got a bit overexcited on this one because I thought it was the one I already had and it was missing the back, but it's not. So this is from season two or three of uh, Gatchaman, uh, which was Battle of the Planets here. Uh, I don't think we got the later seasons here, so we wouldn't have seen this ship. But it's the very, it's kind of the essence of each character has their own ship and it comes together to make this bigger one. If you watch one of the car boot videos I did ages ago, when you I, found... I found this one, this number three which is a bit bigger than this and it's um it's for a bigger ship that all combines together this one looks like it only has one ship that detaches it's still cool man it's still cool uh hasn't got i guess unless it's 1994 written on it it doesn't look like it's got a year mm -hmm. but yeah still a cool little find um yeah i think it's missing some missiles here as well but it's only five pound can't really go wrong you never really see. I never really see. Nah, this. you don't see that too often. No, that's the sort of stuff that go on my shelf. It's even got even got all the stickers on it. Yeah, and it's got Gatcha so Man written yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah. It's a cool, cool so find. For five pound, I think that is. Decent, and yeah. something that you wouldn't expect to find at this sort of toy yeah. fair, which is yeah. what I love about these sort of things. Um, last one. Last one. Of course, what else? <laughs> uh, so we got a uh, Jurassic Park free Raptor here. Uh, yeah, from the that's mine. It's yours. That's mine. That was a bargain as well. That yeah, we paid 50p. 50p for that <laughs> out of a 50p box. Can't really complain. Unfortunately, the uh, battery yeah, died now, so it. we have to just change it. But it's all, it's a little bit loose, but it's fine. It's going to be perfect for my collection. It just annoys me that like, it doesn't you can't close move the, nah, it's the fine. head. But it's fine. It's still a cool find. It can wave at least. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. No, for 50p, I, I'm really happy. No, it's a bargain. I'm really happy. Car so boot you prices. Go, you can go on my collection, and when the weather is nice, I can take them out and play. <laughs> take take more toy pictures. So yeah, so it was a decent day, wasn't it? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. So yeah. yeah Stafford. I think it was uh, Stafford. Yeah. Stafford, Stafford. Toy Fair. <laughs> cool, excellent. Well. So we had a good find. We're going to go find something else to do today. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And next weekend, the 17th, is it 17th on Saturday? <laughs> we will be at the Sandown Toy Fair. All set up, ready to go next to Andy's Toys and Models in our usual place. So come by, swing by, buy some stuff, help uh, keep the channel going. So thank you very much. Again, please like and subscribe. And uh, until next time. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.